The Frisian Frien, languages are a closely related group of Germanic languages, spoken by about 500,000 Frisian people, who live on the southern fringes of the North Sea in the Netherlands, Germany, and Denmark. The Frisian languages are the closest living language group to English languages, and are together grouped into the Anglo-Frisian languages. However, modern English and Frisian are unintelligible to each other. Rather, the three Frisian languages have been heavily influenced by and bear similarities to Dutch, Danish, and Orlo German, depending upon their respective locations. Additional shared linguistic characteristics between the Great Yarmouth area, Friesland, and Denmark are likely to have resulted from the close trading relationship these areas maintained during the centuries-long Hanseatic League of the Late Middle Ages. Division There are three varieties of Frisian, West Frisian, Satterland Frisian, and North Frisian. Some linguists consider these three varieties, despite their mutual unintelligibility, to be dialects of one single Frisian language, whereas others consider them to be three separate languages, as do their speakers. West Frisian is strongly influenced by Dutch, and, similar to Dutch, is described as being between English and German. The other Frisian varieties, meanwhile, have been influenced by German, Low German, and Danish. The North Frisian language especially is further segmented into several strongly diverse dialects. Stadsfries is not Frisian, but a Dutch dialect influenced by Frisian. Frisian is called Frisk in West Frisian, Frisk in Satterland Frisian, and Frasch, Fresk, Friesk, and Friesk in the dialects of North Frisian. The situation in the Dutch province of Groningen and the German region of East Frisia is more complex. The local Low Saxon dialects of Gronings and East Frisian Low Saxon are a mixture of Frisian and Low Saxon dialects. It is believed that Frisian was spoken there at one time, only to have been gradually replaced by the language of the city of Groningen. This local language is now, in turn, being replaced by Standard Dutch. Speakers Most Frisian speakers live in the Netherlands, primarily in the province of Friesland, since 1997 officially using its West Frisian name of Friesland, where the number of native speakers is about 400,000 An increasing number of native Dutch speakers in the province are learning Frisian as a second language in Germany. There are about 2,000 speakers of Satterland Frisian in the Satterland region of Lower Saxony. The Satterland's marshy fringe areas have long protected Frisian speech there from pressure by the surrounding Low German and Standard German. In the Nordfriesland region of the German state of Schleswig-Holstein, there were 10,000 North Frisian speakers in the 1970s. Although many of these live on the mainland, most are found on the islands, notably SYLT, 4, Amram, and Heligoland. The local corresponding North Frisian dialects are still in use. As a regional language in the Netherlands, Frisian is only spoken by a certain demographic, specifically rural, lower-class people, in contrast with the Dutch-speaking upper-class. Frisian-Dutch bilinguals are split into two categories. Speakers who had Dutch as their first language tended to maintain the Dutch system of homophony between plural and linking suffixes when speaking Frisian. By using the Frisian plural as a linking morpheme, speakers who had Frisian as their first language often maintained the Frisian system of no homophony when speaking Frisian. Speakers of the many dialects of Frisian may also be found in the United States. Status Satellan and North Frisian are officially recognized and protected as minority languages in Germany, and West Frisian is one of the two official languages in the Netherlands, the other being Dutch. ISO 639-1 to code FY and ISO 639-2 to code FRI were assigned to Frisian, but that was changed in November 2005 to Western Frisian.
According to the ISO 639 Registration Authority the previous usage of this code has been for Western Frisian, although the language name was Frisian. The new ISO 639 code STQ is used for the Satterland Frisian language, a variety of Eastern Frisian. The new ISO 639 code FRR is used for the North Frisian language variants spoken in parts of Schleswig-Holstein. The Reed Founder Frisk Bewijing is an organization which works for the preservation of the Frisian language and culture in the Dutch province of Friesland. The Frisk Academy also plays a lot role, since its foundation in 1938, to conduct research on Frisian language, history, and society, including attempts at forming a larger dictionary. Recent attempts have allowed Frisian be used somewhat more in some of the domains of education, media and public administration. Nevertheless, Sassland Frisian and most dialects of North Frisian are seriously endangered and West Frisian is considered as vulnerable to being endangered. Moreover, for all advances in integrating Frisian in daily life, there is still a lack of education and media awareness of the Frisian language perhaps reflecting its low-class, rural origins and its lack of prestige therefore. In the social sense it is considered more than a dialect than a standard language, even though linguistically it is a separate language. For L2 speakers, both the quality and amount of time Frisian is taught in the classroom is low. Concluding that Frisian lessons do not contribute meaningfully to the linguistic and cultural development of the students. Moreover, Frisian runs the risk of dissolving into Dutch, especially in Friesland, where both languages are used. History Old Frisian In the early Middle Ages the Frisian lands stretched from the area around Bruges, in what is now Belgium, to the river Wesser, in northern Germany. At that time, the Frisian language was spoken along the entire southern North Sea coast. Today this region is sometimes referred to as Great Frisia or Frisia Magna, and many of the areas within it still treasure their Frisian heritage. Even though in most places the Frisian languages have been lost, Frisian is the language most closely related to English and Scots, but after at least 500 years of being subject to the influence of Dutch, Modern Frisian in some aspects bears a greater similarity to Dutch than to English. One must all also take into account the centuries-long drift of English away from Frisian. Thus the two languages have become less mutually intelligible over time, partly due to the marks which Dutch and Low German have left on Frisian, and partly due to the vast influence some languages have had on English throughout the centuries. The Frisian language has existed for more than 2,000 years. Genetically the Frisian dialects are most closely related to the English language. However, historical events have caused the English and the Frisian language to diverge, while Dutch and Frisian have converged. The linguistic distance to the other Germanic languages has also altered in the course of history due to different degrees of linguistic contact. As a result, traditional genetic trees do not give an up-to-date representation of the distance between the modern Germanic languages. Old Frisian, however, was very similar to Old English. Historically, both English and Frisian are marked by the loss of the Germanic nasal in words like us, soft or goose. See Anglo-Frisian nasal spirant law. Also, when followed by some vowels, the Germanic K softened to a CH sound, for example, the Frisian for cheese and church is TSIIs and Sjurka, whereas in Dutch it is KAAs and Kirk, and in High German the respective words are case and Kircher. Contrarily, this did not happen for chin and choose, which are kin and keys. One rhyme demonstrates the palpable similarity between Frisian and English. Butter, bread, and green cheese is good English and good fries, which is pronounced more or less the same in both languages. One major difference between Old Frisian and Modern Frisian is that in the Old Frisian period grammatical cases still existed. Some of the texts that are preserved from this period are from the 12th or 13th, but most are from the 14th and 15th centuries. Generally, all these texts are restricted to legalistic writings.
Although the earliest definite written examples of Frisian are from approximately the 9th century, there are a few examples of runic inscriptions from the region which are probably older and possibly in the Frisian language. These runic writings however usually do not amount to more than single or few word inscriptions, and cannot be said to constitute literature as such. The transition from the Old Frisian to the Middle Frisian period in the 16th century is based on the fairly abrupt halt in the use of Frisian as a written language. Middle Frisian up until the 15th century Frisian was a language widely spoken and written, but from 1500 onwards it became an almost exclusively oral language, mainly used in rural areas. This was in part due to the occupation of its stronghold, the Dutch province of Friesland, in 1498, by Duke Albert of Saxony, who replaced Frisian as the language of government with Dutch. Afterwards this practice was continued under the Habsburg rulers of the Netherlands, and even when the Netherlands became independent, in 1585, Frisian did not regain its former status. The reason for this was the rise of Holland as the dominant part of the Netherlands, and its language, Dutch, as the dominant language in judicial, administrative and religious affairs. In this period the great Frisian poet Jesbert Japix, a schoolteacher and cantor from the city of Bolsward, who largely fathered modern Frisian literature and orthography, was really an exception to the rule. His example was not followed until the 19th century, when entire generations of Frisian authors and poets appeared. This coincided with the introduction of the so-called newer breaking system, a prominent grammatical feature in almost all West Frisian dialects, with the notable exception of Southwest Frisian. Therefore, the modern Frisian period is considered to have begun at this point in time, around 1820. Modern Frisian The revival of the Frisian language comes from the poet Jesbert Japix who had begun to write in the language as a way to show that it was possible, and created a collective Frisian identity and Frisian standard of writing through his poetry. Later on, Johannes Hilarides would build off Jesbert Japik's work by building on Frisian orthography, particularly on its pronunciation. He also, unlike Japik's, set a standard of the Frisian language that focused more heavily on how the common people use it as an everyday language. Perhaps the most important figure in the spreading of the Frisian language was J. H. Halbertsma, who translated many works into the Frisian language such as the New Testament he had however, like Hilarides, focus mostly on the vernacular of the Frisian language, where he focused on translating texts, plays, and songs for the lower and middle classes in order to teach and expand the Frisian language. This had begun the effort to continuously preserve the Frisian language which continues unto this day. It was however not until the first half of the 20th century that the Frisian revival movement began to gain strength, not only through its language, but also through its culture and history, supporting singing and acting in Frisian in order to facilitate Frisian speaking. It was not until 1960 that Dutch began to dominate Frisian in Friesland, with many non-Frisian immigrants into Friesland. The language gradually began to diminish, and only survives now due to the constant effort of scholars and organizations. Frisian, Dutch and English are the three main languages of the education system in Friesland. The province of Friesland is located in the north of the Netherlands. It has almost 650,000 inhabitants and a surface area of 3,350 square kilometers. The land is typically flat and about half the surface is below sea level protected by a huge dike from the North Sea. The administrative territory of the province of Friesland coincides reasonably well with the geographic area where the Frisian language is spoken. Today, the Frisians were one of the Germanic tribes in contact with the Roman Empire as attested by the historians Pliny and Tacitus. The continuity of the people and their language is contested because of extensive flooding of the area in post-Roman times. Frisian is an Indo-European language that can be dated back to the early Middle Ages when older forms of Frisian, English, Dutch, 
German and other closely related varieties branched into different West Germanic languages. These common origins are the reason why Frisian is sometimes referred to as the closest relative of English. Compounding Frisian and Dutch differ in that one exhibits homophony of linking and plural suffixes, whereas the other does not, and that the presence of a homophony relation has been shown to have consequences for speakers' intuitions about linking morphemes. From a more general perspective, it is known from the literature that homophony is a driving force in language change. Homophony may have far-reaching effects, we feel justified in speaking of different systems, though we use this term, perhaps naively, to describe a difference with respect to homophony. Thus we imply that the presence or absence of a homophony relation between two suffixes may imply system difference. The findings from a study find that the plural suffix is distinguished from the linking suffix by most Frisian Dutch bilinguals during Frisian speech. Production Two types of Frisian Dutch bilinguals could be distinguished. Those with L, one Dutch who predominantly maintained the Dutch system when speaking Frisian, illustrating interference from Dutch on Frisian, and those speakers with L1 Frisian who mostly maintained the Frisian system when speaking Frisian. In general, Frisian Dutch bilinguals distinguish plural endings from linking suffixes when they speak Frisian but not when they were speak Dutch. Hence it must also be concluded that bilinguals are able to apply two distinctive systems of compound formation in their speech production. Family tree Each of the Frisian languages has several dialects. Between some, the differences are such that they rarely hamper understanding. Only the number of speakers justifies the denominator of dialect. In other cases, even neighboring dialects may hardly be mutually intelligible. The Germanic branch of the Indo-European languages has a large number of speakers, approximately 450 million native speakers, partly due to the colonization of many parts of the world. However, the number of different languages within the Germanic group is rather limited. Depending on the definition of what counts as a language there are about 12 different languages. Traditionally, they are divided into three subgroups, East Germanic, North Germanic, and West Germanic. Some of these languages are so similar that they are only considered independent languages because of their position as standardized languages spoken within the limits of a state. This goes for the languages of the Scandinavian countries, Swedish, Danish and Norwegian, which are mutually intelligible. Other languages consist of dialects which are in fact so different that they are no longer mutually intelligible but are still considered one language because of standardization. Northern and Southern German dialects are an example of this situation. West Frisian language, spoken in the Netherlands. Clay Frisian, Westerine, Squid Frisian, Noard, Hoax, South Frisian, Southwest Frisian, Schiermoney, Cooks, Hindelupen Frisian, Asters, Westers, East Frisian language, spoken in Lower Saxony, Germany, Sassland Frisian language, several extinct dialects, Vangaruga Frisian, Worsen Frisian, North Frisian language, spoken in Schleswig Holstein, Germany. Mainland dialects Mooring goes harder Frisian Weeding harder Frisian Halogen Frisian Car harder Frisian Island dialects Solring Fering Umrang Heligolandic Text samples The Lord's Prayer The Lord's Prayer in Standard West and Frisian Us Height Dytyn and Hamelin is Jints Nama Word Ahiliga Jints Ken Inkrig Comma Jints Wallen Bar Alight Yn Ehamel Sarek Opiada Jous Yodis Deistic Brea, N. Ferjuas Skulden, Ally Kekwe Ferjuas Skuldners, N. Lydis Net Y. N. Fersiking, Ma Furlos Us Fan, E. Quedder, Want Jows Is It Can Inkrik N. De Kreft N. De Hurly Kido A. N. T. Y. N. I. V. Chide, Amen. The English translation in the 1662 Anglican Book of Common. Prayer, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Standard Dutch Translation from the Dutch Bible Society on Zaveda die und de Hemelen zich. UW Nam Wardiger Heilig, UW Koninkrijk Kom, UW Wilgeschieder, Jelijk in de Hemel al zo o o o k opter a a r d e. G Fons head and on Stagalike Sprood, and Verge Fons on the Shulden, Jelijk o o o k w i j Verge van on the Shulden Arin, and Lydons n i e t in Vizoking, Mar Verlos ons van de Boza. Want van u is het koning kreik, en de krak tender heerlijkheid in der auiid. Amen. Comparative sentence Satterland Frisian. Do want strucker de dat watched u um juke u er unopied here ap du sucken. North Frisian. Die dreng a dat fuman am dat can in mac it har or das i ike. West Frisian. De jong streak it fam karomit kin en toot ta op e wongen. Groanings. T. Jong Fleer to T. W. I. C. H. T. Omkin a two end smoke to Hurop Wang. East Frisian Low Saxon. Defend, young strax de dat w i c h t u m t kin to unto it jedahor up de wongen, Dutch. De jongen a a i d e, streak het mij langs ha, de kin en custer, zo en de ha op de wongen, German. De jonge strikel to das match en ums kin und kuser s off de wang, English. The boy stroked the girl around the chin and kissed her on the cheeks, Swedish. Poke and stroke, smecked her, flick in pa ha cannot kiss de hen pa kunden. Danish, dreng and strog, aed pig and pa ha gan nog kissy de hen de pa kunden.